and that burn's going to go on for a long time. Next slide, please. So the, the bottom line there, that, that's what's important, minimizing or eliminating second and third degree burn by not wearing fuel. So these arcs, how hot are they? Well, they're four times hotter than the surface of the sun, at least in theory. It's hard to measure that uh, actively, but it is predictable. Uh, and that's pretty darn hot. And because of that extraordinary radiant energy, you can have significant fatal burns sometimes as much as 10 feet away from the arc itself just because of the radiant energy, and the molten metal's flying around 25, 30 feet, and sometimes more than that in enough quantity to cause trouble. Uh, it happens all the time as well. If you wonder why it's getting the attention it is, it's because electrical, as you probably know, is high on ocean's hit list. Arcs are a good chunk of that. There's about 7,000 injuries per year to paid professional electricians. And that's about one every 15 minutes, folks. Think about that. One every 15 minutes in a 40-hour work week. There's you know, uh, 2,080 hours in a work year. Of those 7,000, in the neighborhood of 2,000, will end up in a burn center, not a hospital. You don't want to hear that a hospital is inadequate to meet your medical needs, right? That's a bad situation. 2,000 is one an hour, roughly, 2,080 hours again in a work year. Of those 2,000, in the neighborhood of 250 of those electricians will eventually leave that burn center out the back door in a body bag and not out the front door in the family car. And that's just nuts. The arcs are going to happen. People make mistakes. Equipment ages. Things are defective. Heck, conductive dust causes a significant percentage of these. It gets in the knockout. You do nothing more wrong than open the door and kaboom, right? So the arcs are going to happen. But when they do, the consequences do not need to be fatal or catastrophic like that, those 2,000 red number at the bottom. Almost every one of those 2,000 catastrophic and fatal injuries is a result of clothing ignition. Almost all of them. That part is avoidable. Don't work hot, and if you're going to have to work hot, recognize the hazard and wear upgraded, flame-resistant clothing that is rated at least at your hazard level. It's not that complicated. Next slide, please. So why you need FR? The first bullet point, uh, I've kind of been driving at that for a whole 10 minutes together. Again, it's not the arcs that are killing people. It's the arcs igniting flammable clothing. Don't wear fuel. If you're going to work hot, don't wear fuel, and you're going to minimize or eliminate second and third degree burn and go home. Next slide, please. So hopefully this video will play for everybody. I